Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a brilliant day today. Welcome to episode 9 of season 2 here on FIFA 18 with Manchester City. In today's episode, we have our second group stage game in the Champions League away at Turkish side, Basak Share. And then four days later, we are going to Wembley for a Premier League game against Spurs. In the last episode, we faced off against West Ham twice. We've got through to the round of 16 stage of the Carabao Cup with a 4-1 victory. It finished 1-1 in normal time, had to take it to extra time of course and Raheem Sterling got himself a hat-trick to completely bury the game. And then a 1-1 draw in the Premier League against them. As you can see we've been drawn against Huddersfield in the round of 16 stage of the Carabao Cup. We kicked off our group stage campaign in the Champions League with a 3-1 victory at home to Porto with a changed up side of course which is what we're going to do in all cup competitions this season. So let's see if we can pick up three more points away in Turkey. Mendy inside here to Isco. Good turn away from the opposing player right out to the right hand side here on Kyle Walker got quite a bit of room here gonna spread the play out to Marlis Moreno what a pass that is good first touch as well gonna try and get our way past the defender here we've done it nicely Marlis Moreno good run it's a very good cross as well Manu Garcia and Inla gets the ball away just hoofs it out for a corner kick eight minutes in and what a start to this game Manu Garcia really I could have even taken the touch I had so much room but I just wanted to score an unbelievable volley but here we go corner kick incoming and way too close to the goalkeeper but a very good start to this game Adebayor this is good play from the Turkish side across goes why is the keeper just leaving it it's near enough going straight to him and he just leaves it to go out for a corner 15 minutes in. It's not the best of deliveries. Oh my god. Inla, what a header that is. Is he outside the box? I thought it was a dreadful, dreadful delivery. But wow. What a delivery. And what a header. I have to see a replay because I think he was outside the box. I think he was inside the D. What a powerful header that was. Come on, replay. Hurry up. There we go. 16 minutes gone. Whipped it to the edge of the box. And he's just inside the box. Keeper no chance. And Mendy on the line. No chance either. Wow. 1-0 to the Turkish side after 16 minutes. What a shocker. Gabriel Jesus on the ball. Out to the right-hand side here in Garcia. Is it going to get through? No, it's going to fall here to Gabriel Jesus and Da Costa. With such an important interception. Because I was literally about to release the trigger on the volley with Gabriel Jesus and it could have gone anywhere here we go Gabriel Jesus back on the ball backwards to Douglas Luiz out to the right hand side here in Kai Walker on the edge of the boxes Isco and the goal scorer makes a very good block 34 minutes played well 10 minutes before the break it's been a very especially since they've gone 1-0 up it's been a very frustrating half so far Seconds before the break, we get ourselves a corner. Can we level up the game just before the break? It's a good delivery. It's going to fall here to Mangala. Oh, it's an easy save for the goalkeeper. And we are heading into the break in our second group stage game in the Champions League. A wet Basak share. 1 0 down. Mendy inside here to Gabriel Jesus. Going to hold it up and wait for a run from Isco. It's come. Isco surely left footed strike. Oh my god, it's closer to the corner flag than the goal. Marlos Moreno overlap from Mendy. Here we go. First time into Gabriel Jesus. Going to turn it and try to curl it here with Gabriel Jesus. Off the crossbar. Oh my God. What a strike from the Brazilian. What a goal that would have been. Oh my God. The keeper nowhere near it. Mendy into Douglas Luiz. Forward to Gabriel Jesus. Going to try and turn our man here. We've done it nicely. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, what a save. That was flying into the top corner. Manu Garcia, I'm just going to whip the ball back into the back post. And it's an easy catch for the goalkeeper. Oh, Marlos Moreno was, in fact, offside. Oh, my God. How the hell are we not level? We've had two brilliant strikes that go in this half so far. And easily, one of them could have gone in. It's go for to Marlos Moreno. I'm going to spread the play to the right-hand side. What a pass that is into Kyle Walker. I'm going to cut inside. Nope, Kareem Fry. Gets in the way. And is he going to keep that in? Yes, he is. Unbelievable. How the hell has he done that? I didn't want to touch the ball because I know if I touch it, I would have pulled it out for a throw-in. 
literally have no control over that whatsoever. But here we go. Can we hit them on the break? Marlis Moreno with his pace. He's still going. Someone to the right-hand side. Who is that? I'm not even sure. Is it Fernando? Yes, it is. Fernando crossing the back post. Gabriel Jesus is arriving on the volley. What a block from the defender. That was definitely heading towards goal. Do you know what? Before we take this corner, I think I'm going to make some changes. Who are we going to bring off? Marlis Moreno's looking very tired. So we're going to bring on Raheem Sterling. I'm going to put Gabriel Jesus out on the right-hand side and bring on Sergio Aguero. The big guns are coming on yet again, just like they did. Like um, I can't even get my words out. Just like they did against West Ham in the Carabao Cup. Hopefully, it can have the same result. Douglas Luiz, a forward hitter, Raheem Sterling, heavy touch, but he plays it through here to Sergio Aguero. Here we go. The big guns, are they going to make an impact? Through to Raheem Sterling, first time finish. Raheem Sterling yet again. Super sub, super sub. Sergio Aguero, the link-up play between those two players right there has made an instant impact. Wow, and there is still time to grab a winning goal. Come on, let's go. Gabriel Jesus, what a tackle that is. Gundogan, who's just come onto the pitch. Aguero over the top to the left-hand side in Sterling. Good first touch, please. Smash it. Raheem Sterling. Oh, it's off the post. Seconds before the referee is going to blow for full time. And Raheem Sterling hits the post. Our second group game has ended 1-1. It's not the worst result because we did pick up a win in our first game. And I think we just about deserve the victory. Aguero and Sterling making another massive impact. But on to the next one we go. Spurs away in the Premier League. Let's go and get three points at Wembley. Goretzka opened up space onto his right foot. He's still going. Goretzka! The first attack of the game and it is 1-0. What a strike from Goretzka. Six minutes in and it hit the post as well. So it makes the goal look even better. Literally, that is the first attack of the game. First shot, 1-0. Have to see a replay of that. Just a dummy shot onto his right foot between two Spurs players. One Yama I thought was going to come in with a crunching tackle, but it just kind of moved away from me. And what a goal that is. Vorm, no chance. 1-0, six minutes played. Come on. Bernardo Silva on the left-hand side. Going to lay off here to Goretzka, the goal scorer, with the second shot of the game. And what a save from Vorm this time. Corner kick incoming. Can it be a good delivery? And can it be 2-0? It's a good delivery and the keeper collects easily. 27 minutes in and it's not been the best of games so far. But you know what? I don't care. The only thing that matters is the scoreboard. And so far, we are leading the game. Dembele forward here to Christian Eriksen. He turns it back onto his right foot. Opens up a bit of space. Plays it through here to Harry Kane. That was a dreadful touch. He puts in a cross and Edison, what are you doing? He's going to fall back to Harry Kane. Lays it off here to Dembele. And Goretzka, the goal scorer, getting in the way all of a sudden in the last five minutes or so. The game has completely opened up. Half hour played. It's a decent delivery. And Bernardo Silva gets the ball away but only falls as far as one yard. And now Eric Dyer. what's he going to do? He has a shot to the near post. And thankfully it's an easy save for Edison. 32 minutes in. Like I said, all of a sudden the game has come alive. Dembele forward here to Christian Eriksen for Spurs. Lays it in the box to Harry Kane. Deli Alley and Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva, and I've given it straight to Samir. Bernardo Silva so far in defence. He has been so, so good. Tracking runs, and that's a decent strike from Christian Eriksen. And a very good save for Edison. Yeah, Bernardo Silva tracking back and doing his defensive duties in this game so far. So, so well. Corner kick incoming to that near post. And the keeper comes out and punches. One Yama has picked up the loose ball. He's going to play it to his left-hand side. And could do. He does. Lays it into Harry Kane. It's a brilliant turn from the Englishman. And thankfully, Edison is there in the way yet again. Five minutes until half time. I'll be happy at 1 0, to be honest, at half time. It's a decent delivery from Ericsson. And Lee Rossani has got the ball away. Can we finally get the pressure off our goal? Yes, we can. Thank God. The last 10 minutes or so, it's been pressure, pressure, pressure from Spain. 
Spurs, and that's a good tackle from Raheem Sterling. Here we go. Can we break away and grab the second goal of the game? Aguero through here to Leroy Sane, who's been the best player of the season so far for us. Can he get his seventh goal of the season? No, he can't. It's a very good save. It's going to fall here to Aguero. Good turn from Fabinho. Loads of space, Fabinho, and it's a good save again from Vorm. Wow, the last 15 minutes or so of this half has been unbelievable. Leroy Sane, I can't even catch my breath there. Fabinho up. And are they going to get the ball away? They're messing around with it. What are they doing? And somehow they've got the ball away. Wow. I really need to take a breath. I've been non-stop talking for probably the last three minutes or so. <laughs> it's been that action-packed. Absolutely ridiculous. And finally, there is the half-time whistle. 1-0 at the break. I'm very, very pleased because that last 15 minutes or so was more pressure from Spurs. So very happy to go into the break 1-0 up. One Yama on the ball for Spurs. What's he going to do with it? He's going to play it out to the right-hand side in the right-back. Good cut inside, but thankfully Goretzka read it. Here we go. Leroy Sane. Sergio Rie is totally out of position. Leroy Sane, can he make the Tottenham man pay for being out of position? He's still going. Going to lay it off to the edge of the box. It's Fabinho. Good save from Vorm yet again. He's made two or three, maybe even four. Very good saves in this game so far could easily be three or four nil maybe but here we go corner kick incoming can we kill this game off is a very good delivery Jimenez with the head but straight at Vaughan for that time an easy save Deli Alley to the left hand side and Christian Eriksen but Fabinho I tell you Fabinho and Goretzka in the middle of that park are so so solid Kevin De Bruyne go on Sterling make that run he did but it was just too late Goretzka to his right hand side is Fabinho forward to Aguero who is injured I'm not sure how that happened but into Kevin De Bruyne lay off here to the goal scorer Goretzka good block by one Yama and the keepers kept it in wow I thought that was going for a corner I think that was heading towards that top corner as well for Goretzka's second goal but 63 minutes played I think some subs are definitely needed Spurs not really shown up in this second half so far but here they go on their first move forward Lingard on the ball. Lingard? Really? That's a bit of a weird signing. But out to the right-hand side in the right-back. Serge Aurier. What's he going to do? Is he going to put it across? Plays it to Lingard. Back to Aurier. Into Dembele. Loads and loads of space. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? He does. Dembele. And thankfully it goes wide. 68 minutes played. Going to make some changes. I think I'm going to bring Aguero off. I don't want him to get crunched again and be out for even longer than he probably will. And who else... Sterling is always tired on that left-hand side. What's his stamina stat? 75. It's not great, is it? So we will bring on Moreno for what I think is his Premier League debut. Let's see what he can do. One Yama on the ball for Spurs. Harry Kane going to play it through here to Deli Alley. 1-1. One, one. How long do we have left to play? Spurs have not shown up to this second half whatsoever. I think this is their first real attack. In the second half. And they've made it 1-1. 15 minutes left to play. I think I'm going to make my last substitution. Lee Rossani or... Lee Rossani has been our best player. Not just this... not I don't know about this game actually. But this season he's been our best player. So I'll keep him on. And we will take Kevin De Bruyne off for Isco. Hopefully it doesn't make a difference. Last 15. Let's go and grab a winning goal. Marlos Moreno on the left-hand side. Running through the middle is Isco with his first touch in the game. On his left foot across the keeper. Isco, an instant impact. His first involvement in the game. Two minutes after Tottenham level. He has made it 2-1. What a substitute that is. What a sub. Marlos Moreno with the assist as well. What a pass. Oh, Isco, you absolute legend. 13 minutes to hold on. Come on, let's go. Three points here away at Spurs would be absolutely massive. Long ball up to Harry Kane, but Vincent Company is under it. Marlos Moreno forward to Leroy Sane. Cut inside on his right foot, and Leroy Sane still going through here to Isco. No, it's Gabriel Jesus. Sorry, the Brazilian. Can he completely kill this game off? Oh, what a save from... Vorm 3-1 that would have definitely been game over with 10 minutes left to play Leroy Sane is going to whip in a decent delivery he's going to get headed back out to him a touch and a cross back in it's another good delivery and Dembele somehow gets the ball away now Deli Alli has given it straight to Fabinho can he keep possession against Lingard no he can't a couple minutes left to play Marlos Moreno with the throw Leroy Sane a little back heel into Marlos Moreno going to turn it back onto his right foot whipping across to the back post Bernardo Silva is going to head it on to Fabinho 3-1 game over what a goal that is 
What a cross at the back post. And Bernardo Silva, probably one of the smallest players. Well, he is one of the smallest players on the pitch. Headers it back into the box. And what a couple of touches from Fabinho. Or was it one touch? I'm not so sure. It's a great header back. And one touch. That one touch there to take it away from Lingard. Number eight there. And what a finish from Fabinho. 3-1. Three, three points wrapped up. Get in there. Harry Kane on the ball. Out to the right-hand side. This is good play from Spurs. Are they going to grab a consolation goal? It's a decent delivery. Deli Alley. 3-2. Wow. Why are you celebrating? Why are you celebrating? We are in injury time. Literally, as I kick off, it is going to be game over. Why are you celebrating? That is so, so weird. Normally in this situation, even on the game, they normally go in into the net and grab the ball. But for some reason, he's gone off and celebrated. <laughs> that don't make no sense whatsoever. So a 3-2 victory here away at Spurs. They didn't deserve to even have a chance in this game. They were dreadful. We should have run away with it. Form made some brilliant saves, but thankfully we held on for the three points. So after seven games, we are in third place. Two points behind Liverpool and three behind Chelsea. Chelsea, along with Bournemouth and Sheffield Wednesday, are the only undefeated teams after seven games. Our Manchester rivals are still on a miserable run of form in the relegation zone without a win. Absolutely insanely bad for a club like Manchester United. We have a few emails to go through. Burst and Salinas transfer talks have broken down between him and Aston Villa, which is so, so annoying. Sergio Aguero suffered a bruised shoulder against Spurs and he's out for five days. But with Aguero, I'm not sure whether to keep him or not. He might go through a purple patch soon, but he's played seven league games and he's got no goals and only two assists. And he's gone down by one over rating as well. He's just I don't know about just hit 30, but he is 30 years old. So I'm not sure what to do with Aguero. Do I keep him? Do I sell him? I'm not sure what to do. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. And we have a transfer offer here for Joe Hart. He's valued at 12 million and they've come in with 10.1. He's up for sale. He hasn't played. He's not going to play. So I'm just going to accept any offer. Same with any other player that's up for sale. We have like Fernandinho, Yaya Torre, Bravo, and there's a few others. No matter what the offer I'm just going to go ahead and accept it because we want these players gone from the club. In the next episode, we have Swansea at home in the Premier League and then our third group stage game in the Champions League at home to Atletico Madrid. So overall, pretty tough episode because Swansea have had a very decent start to the season. So that's going to completely wrap this episode up. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a brilliant day, guys. Peace.